If something is having you feel down, what an awesome opportunity it is for you to look at it right in the eyes for what it is, take a breath, and welcome back your power from it. Because if it has that much power, you know it's affecting your mind, your body, and your world. If it has that much power to make you feel something other than yourself, then you know it's pretty darn loaded. If it has that much power to dictate and dominate what you feel when you feel and how you feel. What a beautiful opportunity to say, wow, what a ride. And let's take in a breath, welcome our power back. Once again, cleared, purified, and divinitized within ourselves. This is where we're kind of getting to the bare necessities of carnality. I say necessities, but it's kind of like if anything has the power to take you out of you, which is take you out of love, you know. You have a construct. That's not really working for you. Well, so-and-so did this, that, and the other. Okay, great. Now let's take a breath. Let's welcome back our power from whoever so-and-so may be or whatever it may be. It could be political, religious. It could be family, whatever, whatever. But if they have the power to have you feel like you are something less than yourself, did you know how blessed I am? Here's my higher level at work attempting to show me where I'm getting caught up. To where I can honestly, truly look at it, dissolve it, heal it up, whatever words best resonate with you. Now, what a huge, huge gift. I mean, that's some serious gifts. I saying, look, this is what's kept me in a state of letting another, but in the outside world, letting, 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 whatever it may be for you personally and individually. You're welcoming all of your energy, all of your power, and all your soul fragmentations back to you. Right here, right now, clear to purify. To where you can really, honest to goodness, reconnect with yourself. And also, it goes into what I call reconciliation within yourself. To see the truth within yourself, through yourself. To see what is within yourself and through yourself. To see your, let's say, weak points, sensitive points, which are kind of all judgment points. You look at all this, and this is what I mean impeccable honesty and impeccable integrity within yourself. This is exactly where I'm going with it. Because if we're going to be really true to ourselves, if we're going to be really who we really are, and true to yourself doesn't mean me, me, me. doesn't mean anti, whatever, whatever, anyone else. What it really means is divinitization, integrity, sincerity within yourself, so that you being true to yourself can and will, mark my word, affect the whole that much more dramatically, that much more connectedly, that much more open-heartedly, which gets us back into the flow of your natural state of love, of light, of clarity, purity, and divinitization. 